But still, um, really good pressure being put out on Super. His tank, he only brought Tangos to the lane, so it's going to take a long time for him to build that back up. Nether Blast could actually kill off Pilot Lion here. Lion! Walking right into it for the first blood. It will trade it for Super, but I still think Super is pretty happy for the, that. He, he volunteered his position there. He's going to get full HP and full mana. It is now, as you can see, oh, catching out Han a little bit here. They're going to get another blast on him. I don't think they're going to get a kill, but you never know. We're going to see some good damage going out back and forth between the two. Fenrir taking some hits. Low armor, only three. Getting the slows against him, and the last right click comes through. So they will lose the Earthshaker, and Super's now in a bad spot. You may be fast, but you're very, very squishy. And one more Spirit Lance will do the trick. Boom! They take him down. A double kill now for Black Z. And this trial lane is starting to work out as intended. Of course, this is in exchange for giving FY against the Shadow Fiend, who's now 11 and 11 with all those Necromastery. FY going for the attempt onto the Black's life. They have a lot of movement speed here. They get the Fisher, and down he goes. Good rotation from FY in. Just teleporting in. No Sprout, no need. They'll just be able to right click him down with one good stun. You could still always, you could still connect it for that full amplification. But we're going to see FY head off Lena. She's got the leg striker ready to break herself out of the trees, but she doesn't really want to go that way. Doesn't want to go anyway. Not into the haste of Shadow Fiend, not into the Fisher, but he's strong on Pugna. He needs mana, but he loves that, all those bonuses. FY's going to get caught out though. Double stun against him. It should be his death. Last right click comes through. And that is going to be a Nature Prophet going down, but nice Nether Blast coming out, and the Nether Ward as well. Pugna doing some good work here, but now being pursued by the Phantom Lancer. If not for that stun, Lena might have fallen, but now it's going to be Black to finish off the super with that Lance. The Magic Wand is insufficient, and he topples away from the Raises. Now who run to the west, pop the Sav, and it looks like Black dot Z stunned out. Could, waste, could have wasted a lot of time doing that. But, yeah, I really feel like the Phantom Lancer is countering the Pugna pretty hard here. We're going to see him doppel forward, look for the next Lance. I think he's just got a free kill here. Super not tanky enough to withstand, and the Magic Stick definitely is insufficient. 400 magical damage over two Lances. A few extra right clicks from your illusions as well as yourself. Yeah, you're going to get a pretty clean kill. We're seeing a single Earth Spike onto Fenrir. Good damage from DK, but... Fenrir getting hexed out at the last second, can't return, and gets the Fisher out! He actually stuns out the Lina, survives, and sets up damage onto the Lion. FY has the teleport, looking to head him off, needs to find where he's going first. And now that they've kind of cornered him, they're going to be able to bring him down, and that is putting the kill score at 5-6 to six here for in favor of DK. Before we see the next fight break out, or that might not... Take too long. Fisher's gonna set up a lot of damage here onto the sniper. He's already decrapped. He's caught in. The Fisher, the Nether Blast, the Raze, and down he goes. So good combo there coming in from Vichy Gaming. Just moving in from the smoke and er. Now we see the invoker missing the tornado, the EMP, but the cold snap will keep Hal on the high ground long enough for them to bring him down. And uh, no decrepify from Super. Maybe could have saved his ally there, but no. We see him getting nuked down instead. He will go down to Lina's Light Strike Array, and now Fenrir is in retreat. Here, Leonly is pushing pretty hard onto it, and he is going to be able to get another Lance out on Fenrir to set up the Tornado EMP. That's a dead Earthshaker, and that should be the Tier 1 Tower. Super sh should look to fall back, but they've got Howe with the Invis Rune, and as far as I can tell, there's no detection. Looking for the Requiem. It's a level 1 Requiem, but right in the mix of things, they hit out of everybody. Ice 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 amps up that damage. Black Sea dopples away. They get the Nether Ward down, so there's no return spells, and everybody's in retreat. They killed off the Lion, they killed off the Lena. One Invis Rune changes everything, and they are able to hardcore with the Treants, and they won't respawn fast enough to farm those trees. So we're going to see the Nether Ward clip some damage on the Invoker, but still some good spells. Oh, wow! Almost taken down the Lion, but they do kill the Pugna. 3v1. Oh, wow! Sniper going to get Fissured under Ice Ice Ice's natural order, and he gets clubbed in the face. Hardcore. But yeah, the we're there to finish off the Phantom Lancer at the tail end of that engagement. So the Quelling Blade's out for Leonly. I think he might be the only one though, and he's gonna actually get caught up by just everything else. Logan just nukes down and he's still asleep. How are you still asleep against all those spells? But in the end, yeah, he falls with the last right click pursuing him. The four staff was a nice play from 290, but it was insufficient to keep him alive. They just need better tools to respond. We're going to look at mid. How gets the Yule Scepter, catches out. Okay, look, he's trapped in the trees. He's staying in the trees with the Sprout, and there's no way he gets away. But all these TPs rotating in, they're going to get some return kills. First, the Shadow Fiend, and with the Laguna Blade, they next get the Nature's Prophet. Tower pressure on the bottom. 
when he starts getting, you know, like dozens of trees across the entire map. Oh, the Nature's Call giving them the super tree. 84 damage from this Nature's Call tree. We've also got a bunch of trees up top, a few in mid, pushing in from all angles. The Agadip Scepter already starting to take effect. This is a 1600 HP Greater Treant. Oh my, look at this tree. He's got to do some work. Right click him down. Oh, he falls just to the Nether Blast during the Decrepify. They natural order plus Decrepify, great enhancement tools for sense. That is absolutely insane. And we're going to see this Clash come through. They got the Roche, but they might not leave easily. Here's the Sprout locking the line. He's certainly dead. But we're going to see nice jump in from Ice 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 here. Try to go for the Echo Stomp once the Soul Ring cools down. No, it's not going to be in time. It's FY on the front line. The right click's delivered. Hal blinks in. And they will clean up three. Fiji Gaming take down the Sniper, Line, and Invoker. And FY gets a double kill. They get another Nature's Call out. More. Don't even finish the Tier 3. And uh, ZP coming in very hot. <laughs> this might be a little bit too aggressive here. We're gonna you're gonna be caught by the Decrepify. They'll be warding him off. How actually in a bad spot now? How is in a terrible position, but he's got the Yules. He'll jo rejoin his allies. The Echo Stomp hits onto two. Bl uh, Phantom Lancer without Doppelganger caught inside the Sprout. No Quell. He's he has a Quelling Blade. He's just not using it. Anyways, um, blink forward from the line, trying to connect on Ice Ice Ice. He jukes it though. And he will keep moving. The Echo Stomp connects onto one, but you can't run from the Sniper here. Assassinate, Dragon Slave. He's still alive? He's still got 100 HP? It's going to be the Blink Forward from the Lion to finish him off. Hex? Anything? He had both his spells off cooldown. He used neither of them. And then the Guardian Griefs come out from Super. It may cost Super his life, though. Oh, the Nether Blast. The Magic Stick. He stays alive. The <laughs> And they turn it back around. I can't believe it. The Fisher and the Rays and the right clicks actually killing off all these squishy heroes in the river. They bait them across the entire map. Looks like FY is about to go down, but the Invoker gets caught up in the tornado and chain stunned. Oh my gosh, Vici Gaming have just run a train all over DK, and they just GG off of that. They haven't lost a single tier three, but they're GGing because they just know that how desperately outplayed they just got. A five-man wipe in the end. Saving the life of both Pugna and Nature Prophet at the last second. The Guardian's Grieve, the Magic Stick, doing every little bit to keep them alive. Pugna with that low of HP becomes Timbersaw with the 15 HP and armor region of Guardian's Greaves, and he 